Bloatware are those unwanted apps that come pre-installed on your phone. Many of these apps keep running in the background even when you don't use them. They slow down your device, drain your battery, and take up valuable memory. You can't even uninstall them from settings using the traditional method. In today's video, I'll show you how to remove bloatware from your Android phone using two simple apps, Shizuku and Kanta. You don't need a computer, you don't need root access, and yes, it's completely safe if you follow every step. First, download the Shizuku app from the Play Store. Just search for the name and install it. Kanta, on the other hand, isn't on the Play Store. You'll need to download it from GitHub. I've added the link in the description. Download the APK and install it manually. Once both apps are installed, it's time to prepare your phone. Go to Settings and tap on About Phone. Scroll down and tap on Build Number several times until it says you're now a developer. Then go back to the main settings screen. Look for Developer Options. Inside Developer Options, first turn on USB Debugging. Then scroll down and enable Wireless Debugging. Now, launch the Shizuku app. Tap on Pairing option. It will ask for notification access. Grant the permission. Now, go to the Developer Options screen from the Shizuku app. Scroll down and tap on Wireless Debugging. Tap on Pair Device with Pairing Code. A new screen will appear showing a 6-digit pairing code. Shizuku will now show a notification asking you to enter this code. Type the code and tap Send. If the code is correct, Shizuku will connect. Once connected, go back to the Shizuku app and tap Start. Shizuku will now begin running in the background. You are now ready to move on to the next step. Now open the Kanta app. Once you are in the main screen of Kanta, you'll see a list of all the apps installed on your device. That includes both regular apps and system apps. To filter and see only system apps, tap the filter menu at the top right corner. Then enable only system. Now the list shows just the pre-installed apps that you normally can't delete. Scroll through the list and find the apps you no longer need. For example, in my Samsung phone, I want to install the Samsung Free app, which is a news and content feed app. Normally, I can only disable it from settings, but with Kanta, I can remove it completely. So I'm going to search the Samsung Free app in Shizuku. Select the app, then tap the delete icon. Kanta will request access through Shizuku. Now, a confirmation will appear. Confirm the action and just like that, the app is gone. If I try searching for it, you can see it's no longer on my phone. I can follow the same steps for other bloatware apps, for example the AR Zone app, which is unnecessary as I don't use AR functions. If you are not sure about an app, tap on it to see more details or look it up online before deciding to remove it. Now, what if you accidentally delete an important app? Don't worry, Kanta has a restore option. Just go to the deleted tab. You'll see a list of apps that were recently removed. Select the one you want to restore. Tap on reinstall. Wait a moment, the app will be back just like before. That's the beauty of this method. It doesn't touch your system partition, it only removes apps for your user profile. That's why restoring them is so easy. Just one tap and it's back. So now you have a full control. You can remove what you don't want and keep what you use. And if anything goes wrong, just bring the app back. Simple and safe.